Hi everyone, it's Miss Lori. Today I wanted to share with you a Star Wars book. Now for those of you that don't know, Star Wars is an epic science fiction saga. There's many movies that were made, uh, many movies in the series. It started in the 1970s. Um, I actually loved it as a little girl. I have a very old Princess Leia doll. I used to play with her all the time. So many of you might remember it. And there's been several episodes and movies in the past several years that have been created following the original Star Wars movie. We have many books in our library and I chose this today because May 4th is coming up. It's actually on Tuesday this year. And the famous uh, pun that came to be for May 4th they did a pun and it was quoted as one of the sayings in the movie is may the force be with you but it was created may 4th upon may the 4th be with you kind of silly but i wanted to share with you one of the star wars books it's a, a new hope i believe it was episode four and it was made back in the 1970s so many many years ago but we have newer books at the library if you want to follow the whole series and all the trilogies of them. They're very, very interesting to read. But before I begin, I'd like to sing you my hello song. If you'd like to read a book, clap your hands. If you'd like to read a book, clap your hands. If you'd like to read a book, listen up and take a look. If you'd like to read a book, clap your hands. If you'd like to read a book, say shh. If you'd like to read a book, say shh, shh. If you'd like to read a book, listen up and take a look. If you'd like to read a book, say shh, shh. Okay, classic Star Wars, A New Hope. It was episode four, for those of you that remember. And it was adapted by Cynthia Alvarez. It was from the screenplay by George Lucas. A long time ago, in a galaxy far away, far, far away, the evil Darth Vader captured the young rebel Princess Leia. And this book has little flaps, so I'm going to reveal what's in the flap. Run, R2! Leap! These are characters. I know many of you know them. <laughs> These are silly names. R2-D2 and C-3PO, Princess Leia's faithful droids, flee the doomed ship in an escape pod. The droids land in the middle of a desert. Suddenly, they are ambushed by Jawa sand creatures. And he's saying, I have a strange feeling about this place. Oh, there they are. The Jawas sell the droids to Luke Skywalker, a young farmer who longs to be a fighter pilot. That's okay. I love these lift the flap books. Luke, Luke Skywalker repairs R2 and accidentally triggers Princess Leia's plea for help. So when he's pushing the buttons, he accidentally reveals her and she's saying, help me, Obi-Wan. I am Darth Vader's prisoner. You're my only hope. Luke sets out in a land speeder to find Obi-Wan Kenobi, a powerful Jedi Knight. Suddenly, a Tusken Raider attacks. Luke is hurt. To reveal what's under here. Obi Wan Kenobi rescues Luke and brings him to safety. Luke delivers Princess Leia's message. Darth Vader is guided by the dark side of the Force. Obi Wan tells Luke, "You must learn to use the Force for good." See? 
Luke and his friends find Han Solo and Chewbacca, that's a silly name, with some strange space creatures in a pilot's hangout. Solo's ship, the Millennium Falcon, is the fastest in the galaxy. I'm going to show you a really interesting creature. Look at him. <laughs> With Han Solo's help, they sneak aboard the Death Star, the evil empire's gigantic battle station. Obi-Wan challenges Darth Vader to a lightsaber duel. These are the lightsabers. And let me... Uh-oh. <laughs> Luke helps Princess Leia escape from her prison cell. And there's Princess Leia. She's saying, let's go. Luke must blow up the Death Star before it's too late. He remembers Obi-Wan's plea. Use the force, Luke. Luke fires his lasers, a direct hit. The Death Star is destroyed. A victory for the rebel forces. The end. <laughs> Yay! I hope you enjoyed my Star Wars book. Like I said, we have many more Star Wars books, all different reading levels in our department. So make sure you check them out and have fun celebrating May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. Such a silly pun. <laughs> so now I would like to sing you my goodbye song. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to our friends. It's time to say goodbye to our friends. Story time is done today, so come again another day. It's time to say goodbye to our friends. Bye, everyone. Thank you for watching. May the fourth be with you. Bye-bye.